In this tutorial, I'll show you how to download and use Llama 3 locally on your computer using Olama. Welcome to this tutorial. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I'll make this step by step, show you how to download, install and use it from the command terminal. And then I'll show you uh, more or less a quick scenario using ChatGPT versus Llama 3. And then I'll show you how to use it in subtitle edit. Now, let's begin. I'm going to download Olama and what is Olama is more or less a tool or the server you're going to use to run the large language model Llama 3. Now I'm going to click on Olama. It's going to bring me to this. I'm going to click on download and because I'm on Windows, I'm going to download uh, Olama for Windows. Now it's going to take a short time. It's not a really big package if I may say, uh, but this is more or less to help us run the large language models so that we can have our own chat clients that we can actually interact with, ask questions and get responses. Now, as I've mentioned, I'll show you how to use it in subtitle edit because in subtitle edit, you can use it to automatically translate subtitles into different languages, which is really, really awesome to have uh, and use locally. So uh, it's almost done downloading and this is set up for Windows. Olama is available for Mac, Linux and Windows and for Windows it's more or less of a preview but it works as it should work. So uh, here we go, it's done downloading, I'll just click on it. It's going to prompt for an install. Uh, let's get you up and running with your own large language models locally. I'll just click on install. Then it's going to install uh, the packages on my computer and then uh, we'll go on from there. It's super simple. So let's just give it a couple of seconds and it's going to be done. Now, having your own large language models running on your computer, uh, you can use them for a ton of things. Translating content, uh, giving you more or less tips and ideas. You can just actually chat and ask any question that you want to the large language models. Now, I believe it's done downloading, installing, and we have La Olama running right here. And actually now go back and from here, what we need to do is now download uh, our large language model. And for this, you have a bunch of them that you can download, but let's download Llama 3. It was recently released uh, by uh, Mark Zuckerberg. So I'll just click on this and you can see it's a big, big file and more or less uh, it's going to take a while depending on your internet connection. And I may speed up some of uh, the sections here so that it can actually uh, show you it's downloading to the entirety. Now, what I need to actually uh, have it installed that is Llama 3, just copy this code and then just come and uh, pull up command. And from here, I'll just press on control V to paste that this particular command I just copied here and then press on enter. It's pulling the manifest. And what it's going to do is it's going to download everything that you see here. And initially it's going to show you a ton of hours here, depending on your internet connection. And if your internet connection is good, it's going to take a short time. Uh, mine is take a little, taking a little bit of time to think if, if it's going to be a little bit better, but it's going to take roughly 10 minutes uh, to download Llama 3 on my computer, more or less 12 minutes, if I may put it that way. But I'm going to speed up this process and show you uh, once we're done. The Llama 3 large language model is almost done downloading. We're just a couple of seconds away from it completing. Now, I've had to speed up some of the sections uh, prior to this conversation so that I can actually don't waste your time. But it takes a while to download because it's a huge file, 4.7 gigabyte, but it's worth it. And we are now going to see how we can use Llama 3, more or less from the command prompt. And then I'm going to show you how you can use it in an application like Subtitle Edit, because Subtitle Edit included Olama Translate in the latest package that is 4.0.5. So there we go, six seconds. It's almost done, three, two, one, and then we'll download, uh, it's going to download a bunch of other files here. 
small files so that we can actually be able to use it uh, for whatever we want. And I believe you're almost done. Verifying, everything is okay. Should be done in a second or so. But yeah, there we go. It's success. You can see that particular message. So we have Olama installed and we have also downloaded and installed the large language model Llama 3. All these files are ready for us to use. I'll close it out and then open up command prompt again. And from here, I'm just going to paste the same command. Now that we have installed Llama 3, we see what happens. I'll press on enter. And once I do, it's going to tell me send a message. And this is how you can use it now locally on your computer. Let's probably ask it a simple question like, uh, how many countries are in Africa? So it's going to more or less tell you how many countries, 54, and then list down all the countries for you. It's pretty awesome to know that uh, this can be done on your computer. Normally, what we'd like to do is probably maybe use something like uh, ChatGPT and we can do the same. How many countries are in Africa? And more or less, you see what uh, ChatGPT has done? It's just uh, listed or just given us 54 recognized countries in Africa. Uh, it depends or varies with different political situations. But what Lama 3 has done is that it's given us the number of countries and told us it's, uh, they are vast. Africa is vast and diverse with 54 recognized sovereign states. These states are listed, all of them. More or less, I feel like it's one in that particular scenario because, yes, it's given us the same answer, but gone ahead and listed all the countries for us. So that's more or less how you can use Llama 3 from the command prompt. Now, uh, let's use it in subtitle edit. And this is subtitle edit 4.0.5. And I'll actually just go to options settings. I'll go to auto translate. Uh, should be somewhere here. Okay, if it's not here, what we're going to do is get a, just get a quick video. Let's so get this video. And then uh, we auto uh, transla uh, transcribe this into text quickly. And that is done. So what we're going to do is we're going to automatically translate this uh, into a different language. So we go to auto translate, auto translate. And then from here, I'm going to, use, to choose from this particular section, Olama. And then I'm going to go with uh, should be Llama 2. We should, also, we should also have Llama 3. I believe it's, it's also there, Llama 3. Then we can change this to whatever language that you want right here. Let's go with Spanish and click on Translate. It may take a while. Well, that, is, that is what you're actually getting. Uh, but there we go. It's translating our subtitles into Spanish right inside Subtitle Edit. So it's a large language model that you can use for a ton of things, translating content, uh, telling it to tell you what is going on. And you can see I've used it to translate subtitles in real time, no need to use anything off your computer. So everything is safe and secure on your computer. Uh, nobody's actually going to learn from what you do, uh, what you're actually doing in that particular uh, scenario. Uh, but that is how you can download and use Llama 3 on your computer using Olama. I hope this tutorial is of value to you. Thanks for watching.